Wanna play with my fire? An eye for an eye and you'll be the only one who can see. Fuck. Off. As a foundling, I did not talk too much to other people. I let them consider me ingenuous, stupid. But I just felt everything they hid behind their smiles. Empathy. I think that's what the brainy magicians call this. Talent. When our peers began to mock me, I did not wait. I answered right away, and my bow was heavy. Then they were hiding their real thoughts behind their vile, cruel smiles. The older I got, the more I wanted to knock out this lie, anger, and hatred from them. Well, they finally stopped hiding their fear. I had no relatives. I never found friends, but I was strong. The royal army appreciated it, but the story repeated itself. In a fit of rage, I killed several soldiers. <laughs> the captain highly appreciated my abilities and gave me a choice. To hang from the gallows or to go on a special task to fulfill the secret will of King Octavius. The mission was to obtain ancient artifacts from the Forbidden Forest. It was a sure death, but on my terms. The Forbidden Forest, the territory that spans the vast expanse of the mainland. Some say this place is where the ancient races got together and destroyed each other in the final battle. Their names were erased from history. power of the used magic was so great that it changed the very essence of space and magic, generating hordes of deadly creatures and dangerous places which were deadly for some. Fortunately, the creatures rarely left their territory where they lived. That's where the king sent us, to fulfill his secret mission. He sent us to accompany his squad. As the battle mages of Octavius moved deeper into the forest, they fought off one wave of creature attacks after another, dying from exhaustion. Soldiers entirely covered with protective amulets fell under the creature's blows, but the monster's mass was endless. <sighs> we tried to fight back, losing people day after day for some mythical artifacts. In his wilderness, we found a creature that I could not raise my soul against. Lost, whining plaintively in the grass. I felt that I could not leave him there. So I took care of him. As soon as I looked into his eyes, I felt this connection. After all, it was also an empath too. Of all the soldiers sent to this task, I was the only survivor. This was not a part of King Octavius' plans. That day, I would not have survived if it had not been for Carol. I heard his thoughts in my head, felt how he was trying to warn me about the prepared trap and my fate. We fled, killing the guards, and I finally became free. 
Oddly much time has passed before I ran into the outcasts. None of them wanted to taunt me. Each of them had their own strong feelings, but they were not aimed at me. For me and Caron, they became real family. Our lives were about us. Robbery, assaults, my strength was finally running free. Kieran was content with my fury. Every day felt like Holland. We killed people. We took their wealth. We felt like kings. If only one of us knew what danger this path would lead to. Even the royal treasury which the greedy jester gave us was not enough. Magnus showed us a new target, the Ashbox. An ancient artifact hidden by the distant ancestor of King Octavius. And I saw and heard Lady Death. Realised that we had gone too far. I was the first to get the sword and beat the Ashbox out of their greedy hands. But Magnus broke the box. The curse burst and hit us. Karen had shielded me and took the entire blow on himself. Dividing our fate in two. Faded in my arms, and I felt every moment of his suffering. But Karen's and my last fight has not yet come. The Ashmaster found us. He promised that if we defeat Lady Death, the Ash Curse will be lifted, and we will be saved. We had better watch our step here. The Aqueous Land was once a beautiful fishing and trading hub. However, stepping into its waters now only means death. Hydras, fish folk, rumors say that even a seabed lord has come ashore. All the creatures that used to inhabit these waters are now out to get the local fishermen and occupy new territories. We are right in the middle of a spawning nest now. Let's break camp here before their reinforcements arrive. If we don't leave this place soon enough, we will have to fight Leviathan, the god of the sea.
is not a good boy and neither am I.
The early dog gets the meat. the meat.
We always reign victorious! The early dog gets the meat. <laughs> 